alone. Help me take him to the office. No. I'll call the doctor. No, 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 I'm all right. All right, just jarred up a bit. Now I gotta get these bonds back to... They're gone. Give me the bonds back, Mannix. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. You were the first one here, weren't you? Yes, but I don't know anything about any bonds. Anybody else near me? No, and we were watching when the time you fell. I must have lost him during the fight. Well, let's get back to the office. I can't find any trace of those bonds. Scram, that copper's coming in here with Mannix. I wish you could talk. Tell me a lot, I'd like to. That's funny. What do you suppose this is? It's a finger stall, all right, but not an ordinary one. It's a phony thumbprint. Got an indelible pencil? Thanks. thumbprint on his job to throw the police off the trail. You mean Hong Kong Charlie was a criminal Kwong Lee? Sure looks that way. Now what? Now you can admit that you killed him. Admit that I, I killed him? Why, it's no crime to kill Kwong Lee Mannix. There's a price on his head, dead or alive. But what makes you think that I killed him? Uh, you left a trail a blind man could follow. Kwong Lee came in here to rob you, forced you at the point of a gun to open that safe. Right? Go on. Open the safe and I'll show you. Now, Kwong Lee was standing right about here. Suddenly, you whipped a gun out of the safe and shot him. He fired too, but he missed. How do you know that? There's a bullet hole in the wall panel to your right. Well, since you know that I shot in self-defense, I may as well admit that I did shoot him. Good. Only it wasn't Kwong Lee you killed. Not Kwong Lee? What about the finger stall you found? The real Kwong Lee put it on Charlie after he was dead. There were blood stains on the thumb under the rubber. Mannix, you're the real Kwong Lee. I arrest you for the murder of Hong Kong Charlie. If this is your idea of a joke, Barry, I'm afraid you've gone a bit too far. Now get up. Over to that desk. Hello. Red Barry speaking. Who's this, Scotty? Hey, we got a radiogram from the boat. You know what? Yeah. You found out that Mannix is really Kwong Lee, right? Yeah, but how did you know? I'm just about to put a pair of cuffs on Mr. Mannix. We'll be right down. So you don't think Red Barry is much of a detective, huh? But well, he's got the goods on Kwong Lee, and he's holding him for us at the theater. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll believe that when I see it. All right, get up, Mr. Mannix. until we get our share of those bonds. I haven't got them. Watch him. Come on, 
Now, let's get away from here before they broadcast a general alarm. Where are those bombs? Barry had them when he fell out of the box, but they were gone when I got to him. Well, we're wasting time here. Where can we go and be safe? My old place in Chinatown. All right, lead the way. But remember, we are right behind you. It's locked. A couple of cops on guard. Yeah, but they're guarding the wrong entrance. It's the car, Joe. Hey, wait a minute. Are you going in there with that cop on guard? With him on the outside, no one would suspect us of being on the inside. looking place to have to hide out in. Why not? They'll never find us here. Here, put that table back and we'll clean up the place. When it comes to bungling a case, Barry, I must say that you're a genius. You admit having the bonds right in your hands and then you let them slip through your fingers. If you put him on either the Kwong or the bond case again, I'll take away his badge. May as well take it now, sir. That China boy in there was my friend. I sent him out in a job that was too big for him. But he died trying. With or without that badge, Commissioner, I'm going to get the man that killed Charlie. If it's the last thing I ever do. Well, am I right? I suppose so. Hey, where are you going? Going down to Wing Fu's. See if he's ready to talk. Let him go, honey. There's times when a fella would rather be alone. Well, if you haven't got the bonds, who has them? Well, I know Barry hasn't. But it might be those two Russians. They never got near him. We were giving them a battle out in the passageway. That only leaves Wing Fu. One of his men might have got to him before I did. I'll go to Wing Fu's and see what I can find out. Yeah? Well, I'm going with you. Oh, all right. But you stick around here until we come back.
come to ask you to lay your cards on the table, Wing Fu. I had hoped you had brought word of the boy you call Hong Kong Chole. Very sorry to say that my good friend, Hong Kong, is dead. I too am sorry. Your friend, Hong Kong, was my number one son. Son? I didn't know. selection? Well, if you don't mind, I'll just look around and pick out what I want. Very pleased to have you do so. Thank you. I have not been frank with you about the bonds. I could not be. They were sent to me to buy combat planes for my government, which is against your laws. This morning I received word not to buy planes, but food and clothing for my countrymen in war-stricken districts. Then from now on we can work together. All we have to do is find the bonds. One of my men took them from you at the theater. You understand I must turn them in at headquarters. I understand. On proof of ownership, they'll be returned to you. May I use your telephone to call a cab, please? Certainly. Nothing can I do for you? No sale. Barry's got the bonds. He's waiting for a taxi now. Well, what could be sweeter? Enter. Yao Yang came on now, telling you to Well, he says there was a customer in the store who seemed to be listening at the door. And he probably imagined it. But I hope he's right. A few minutes after I leave this store, you take these to headquarters. I should feel safer if they were in your hands. If there was a spy, I'm the one they'll follow. And that's just the chance I've been waiting for. All right, 
Buddy, this is the end of the line for you. What do you mean? You better jump. Open that door. I can't jump out going this fast. I said jump. I'm giving her all she's got now. Hey, who's up tail? It's that girl reporter in a police car. Take a shot at her tire. I can't drive and shoot too. Do it yourself. Ask me your gun. Faster. I'm giving her all she's got now. Hey, who's that tailman? That girl reporter in a police car. Take a shot at her tire. You can't drive and shoot too. Do it yourself. Ask me your gun.
Ross Berry for keeps. Yeah. Better get rid of that briefcase, though. It might be recognized. The bonds are not here. Either Barry has them or he did this to throw us off the track. Turn back. Mississippi. Mississippi. Are you badly hurt? I don't know. But I feel like I'm going to be a little fool and faint again. Uh, I'll get you over to Valentine's veins and phone for help. Can't do them, fifty. You've got to catch him. He's turning off. He must be going to Valentine Bay. That'll simplify everything. Is there anything else, sir? No thanks, Tabs. I'm quite comfortable. Very good, sir. Mississippi's been in an accident. She needs a doctor. Right, oh. Tubbs! 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 Tubbs will show you to your room. I'll call a physician. Fine. Sit me down, Ray. I'm all right. You sure? Sure. <laughs> Which way, Tubbs? This way, sir. I don't. Except you lie here and rest for a while. I've got some phoning to do. And if you should want anything, miss, would you just ring this bell? Mm, thank you. Whatever happened, Barry? Tell you later. I have to phone Scott first. Right over this way, Owen. I'll call it for you. Operator. I'm Inspector Scott, Colfax 4329. Right. Tell me what happened, Red. Good afternoon. Our car is broken down. Could we use your phone? Why, yes, I think so. This way, please. Hold it, you. Where's Red Berry and your boss? Why, in the master's study, I believe. Not a sound out of you, understand? Lead the way. Uh, we located the bonds at Wing Fu, so... Rather, he turned them over to me of his own accord to take the headquarters. Say, Vane, how long is that call going to take? Oh, it won't take long. Go ahead. Well, as I was about to leave, we discovered that somebody had been listening at the door, so we decided to change the plans. We left the bonds at Wing Fu's, and I went on ahead. I hoped that Mannix would jump me so I could pick him up for the murder of little Hong Kong Charlie. Everything went as we expected, except that... Except that you didn't catch Mannix. And you never will. Don't make a move. Bring the butler in here, Weaver. Over there, you. So the bonds are at Wing Fu's, are they? Well, you get on the phone. I'll answer it. Watch him. Hello, is that you, Red? I'm sorry, sir, but Mr. Berry couldn't wait. Any message? No, sir, there's no message. He said he'd report to you in person at the office. Goodbye. Did you take down that phone conversation as usual? Yes, sir. Did you recognize the voice? No, sir. It sounded familiar, but I couldn't place it. That's a lot of help. Get me Mr. Wing Fu at Seton 6775. That's right. When Fu calls back, I want you to tell him you're sending a man from headquarters to pick up those bonds he's got. Mannix, you're crazier than I thought. I suppose you'd stand a lot before you'd do it. But I'm not going to work on you. Go find the girl and bring her here. Now, wait a minute, Mannix. You wouldn't do a thing oh, like that. Oh, wouldn't I? 
Well, come on, make up your mind. All right, I'll do it. Hello. Oh, it is you, Mr. Barry. How did our plan work out? Pretty much as we expected. Look, Wing, I'm sending a man from headquarters to pick up the buns. That's right. But how shall I identify him when he arrives? Come on, make it snappy. He wants some means of identification. Identification? Well, tell him he'll be wearing badge number... 47. Mannix, I'll get you for that if it's the last thing I ever do. Hello, Wing. The man will be wearing badge number... 47. 47. Yeah, that's right. I shall remember. Goodbye. After an hour, you can turn these men loose. I'll be waiting for you where we left Lewis and Gray. You can't go to Wing Fu's. He knows you. If he sees through the disguise I wear, he's smarter than I think he is. If these men give you any trouble, you know what to do. Cigarette, Bain? Sure thing, old man. Hey, wise guy, take your hands out of your pockets. Drop your gun. You ain't got the nerve to shoot a man in cold blood. If you don't think so, start shooting at me. Stand back, Barry, and I ain't kidding. Neither am I. Give me that gun, Weaver. Sure. Don't shoot, don't shoot. If she couldn't have shot, she wanted to. Now you get over there and stand with your back to the wall. Bain, you got an extra gun? How oh, uh. Is there anything I can do, sir? Yes, yeah, just a minute, Tubbs. Keep him covered. Well, that took a lot of nerve, Mississippi. You're telling me. Oh, the line's dead. Mannix must have cut the wires. I've got the phone wing phone warning. Ben, you think you can hold him? Sure thing, old man. You go along. Fine. Come on, Mississippi. Let's get out of here. Mannix has punctured the tires. We'll have to thumb a ride. Well, what about Vane's car? He'd have thought of that, too. Come on.
Nein. Petra, das ist Natascha. Harry! Hallo, Natascha. Hallo, Petra. This is Petra. Come to the theater at once. What? I'll meet you at the stage door. All right, we'll come right over. Can you get me to a phone quickly? Nope, there ain't no house along this road till you get to the edge of town. Well, uh, step on it, please. I'm on police business. Hop in. the bonds or he's going to get them. What can I do for you? I'm from headquarters. Your boss is expecting me. Yes. Right this way. Thank you. And, uh... I believe uh, Redberry phoned you, he was sending me. What is the nature of your busyness? To pick up some papers. Berry said to show you this badge. Number 47. That is correct. Will you please sit down? Excuse me. Hello. Hello, Wing. Do you recognize my voice? Oh, yes, surely. What is it? Good, now, now listen. Mannix is coming to get the bonds. He's disguised and is wearing my badge. But the shipment has already arrived, sir. Look, look, Wing. I'm only a couple of blocks away. Stall him till I get there, will you? I understand. Good. Look, Mannix has already arrived. Phone Scott. But it will take some little time for the goods to clear the customs house. Come on, come on, tell him to call back. I'm in a hurry. Very well, then. Goodbye. I will now get you the bonds. Sight must be failing. This is not the right key. But I still cannot find the right key. You've got the right key, all right. But not for this cabinet. It's got no lock on it. Stay where you are.
Thank you, Mr. Wu. Maddox didn't even see him. Where is he? Just left with the bonds. Take him in, boys. Did you see Maddox come up? He's in that taxi. Looks 
Scotty, phone for another car. I'll take this one. All right. You're not going, Mississippi. There's no time to argue. Get stopped. What happened to that fare you picked up in Chinatown? Oh, he got out way back there. He gave me a five spot and he says, keep driving till you use it up. Uh, there's not much use at backtracking, but we'll try. Thanks very much. Stolen bonds, Natasha, you're crazy. I know all about the bonds. Give me the keys to that trunk. Why should I? You haven't got the nerve to shoot a man in cold blood. I want the keys to that trunk. It's up to you how I get them.
Now get in that room. It seems that I've had visitors during my absence. Stand over there, please. Remember, I shall not hesitate to shoot if you try to escape. Say, what's the big idea? I've given up my claim to the bonds and I intend to phone the police to have them... <laughs> Hello? Natasha? Police commissioner talking. Yeah, a friend of yours wants to talk to you. Natasha? Igor and I have been arrested for the theft of those bonds. Let me talk to the commissioner again. Yes, Natasha. She wants to talk to you again. Yeah, no. You have made a serious mistake, Commissioner. You have arrested the wrong man. Oh, so I've got the wrong man, have I? I suppose you can prove that. I can. I have just recovered the bonds and I'm holding Mr. Mannix prisoner for you. Will you send someone down here to take charge of the prisoner? Well, one of my men's at the theater now. A Mr. Vane. Turn Mannix over to him. You're not going to let Vane try to bring in that killer alone, are you? Oh, sounds like you're sore because he's beating your red-headed friend to it, Scott. Me sore? Why, you... I... <laughs> oh, what's the use? If he brings Mannix to headquarters, I'll buy you the finest suit of clothes in the city. <laughs> Take him away, Mac. <laughs> Inspector Scott speaking. Hello. Hello, Scotty. This is Red. Boy, am I glad to hear your voice. Mannix gave me the slip in the street. I think he's going on down to... Yes, I know. That Russian dancer's got him at the theater, and Vane's on his way down there to pick him up. Well, how could she have got him? Never mind that. You go on down to that theater and see that Vane gets in here with him. Righto. Hello, Switchbird. See if you can find Mr. Vane in the theater and send him up here at once. It won't be necessary, my dear girl. You see, I'm already here. Oh, Mr. Vane, I'm so glad you're here. <gasps> Easy, old chap. Now, where are the bonds that you mentioned to the commissioner? In a trunk. In here. After you, my dear fellow, if you don't mind. The trunks are gone. Someone must have taken them. They were here not only five minutes ago. Drop that gun, Mannix. Now get rid of her. I don't get this, Vane. You didn't hit that girl by accident. She'll think I did. Meantime, you can lead me to those bonds. We'll divide the loot and be on our way out of the country. You don't think I'd fall for a line like that from a copper? Who said I'm a copper? I've been playing the commissioner for two years to get a chance at a job this size. Did you ever hear of a guy named Harry Dicer? Harry Dicer? You mean, you're... You got a car here? There's one on the street outside. Come on, I know where those bonds are. I'll explain to you on the way. business. Go ahead.
been some kind of ruckus in here, Red. Yes, doesn't look so good. What is it, Natasha? What happened? I'm not quite sure myself. Where's Mr. Mannix? Why, don't you know? No, I, I held him here till Mr. Bain arrived, and I got callous, and he grabbed my gun. Mannix did? I grabbed his arm, there was a struggle, and he must have struck me with the gun. That's all I remember till you just came in. What about the bombs? Yes, does Mannix have them? He put them in a trunk in here, and somebody must have got away with it while I was on the phone in my room. Miss Sip, you stay here with Natasha. I've got to get that trunk. Way with the trunk the last few minutes? Yeah, transfer a man with two or three of them. You notice which way he went? No, but he's bound for the variety hall in Bridgeport. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. They belong to an act that's opening there tomorrow night. Thanks. like our truck on up ahead there. Pull up alongside of it. Hey, buddy, pull over alongside the road there. I said pull over. All right. What's the big idea? You gotta look through one of your trunks for some stolen goods. Listen, buddy, if you wanna go through them trunks, you can do it after I get to Bridgeport. Just a minute, this is police business. That's the same, you're not gonna open any of them trunks. I said you're not gonna open them trunks. You realize you're talking to the police? Police or no police, you're not gonna open them trunks. Ow! That's figuring. Stitch him over in the weeds. Please, Simon. If that dancer talked to me and put a tracer on this truck. There's a side road on the head. We better pull onto it just in case they did. Shoot you fool! Now our tires will never be licked. Not if this gun shoots straight. Give me your gun. He's pulling up alongside. If he does, I'll count him on the other line of traffic. You mean wreck him? Sure thing. Pull over there. Pull over to the side of the road.
Give me your gun. He's pulling up alongside. He does. I'll crowd him under the other line of traffic. You mean wreck him? Sure thing. Go over to the side of the road. Step on it. Let's get out of here before someone starts asking questions. Come on, fellas. Lend a hand here. There's a man in this car. There's a side road to Hale will take us to my place. Watch it. Watch it. Hold him. Come on, fellas. Ease him down there. Come on. I got it. Down here. So bad. That's it. Think he's badly hurt? It's no fault of yours that he's not dead. The way you were driving. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing myself. That truck deliberately crowded him into the other car. And darn near got me too. Come on, somebody get an ambulance. It looks like you need some attention yourself. No time for that. We've got to catch that truck. I'm from police headquarters. I have to trouble one of you for your car. Well, you can use mine. I'd be glad to drive you. Fine, thanks. We'll have to turn around. Okay. Probably turned off some side road. Yes, but they're leaving the trail. I nicked the gas tank just before the auto wreck. What's the matter, out of gas? Yes. Get out and keep it rolling. It's only a little further. buy them and no questions asked. Good. Come on to the house. All right. Let's go. Better slow down from here. There are a lot of cow pads they could have turned off on. All right. Cows! Cows! Yes, sir? Oh, there you are. Now listen. There's a truck outside. Fill it with gas, drive it down the road away and wreck it. Understand? Not exactly, sir. Uh, that is... Yes, sir? Oh, and Tubbs, I'm leaving town on business. No one's to know, not even the police. Is that clear? I believe so, sir. I'll be with you as soon as I pack some clothes. our regular broadcast to give you the latest news regarding the sensational escape of C.E. Mannix, alias Kwang Lee, wanted in connection with the Pell Street murders and for the theft of bonds valued at two million.
Mannix was last reported on the Bedford Highway, headed north in a stolen truck. A police cordon has been thrown about the city in the biggest manhunt ever staged by the local department. Every road is closely guarded, and his arrest is expected momentarily. The station will keep you informed. Now what? We don't dare try to go out of town. This police badge will get us by any blockade. Yeah, that's all right for you. But every cop in town has got my description. What do you suggest? Well, they won't be searching the cars coming into the city. Let's go to my room back at the Eurasian Cafe and hide out until this blows over. I still think I'll proceed as I planned. Okay, you can do as you like and I'll do the same. Uh, just a moment. Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yes, I forgot for the moment. Uh, my half of the bonds, if you don't mind. You're a bad shot, Mr. Mannix. Gas has stopped. I wonder whether. Wait here till I find out what this is all about. Better get your car turned around. All right. Mannix nearly did me in. Mannix? Bain, what about Mannix? I captured him, brought him here, intending to phone headquarters. He caught me off guard and got away in one of my cars. Well, which way did he go? Toward Bedford. Go get him, Red. But I can't leave you like this, Shall, shall I call a doctor? Oh, Tubbs will take care of me. Go after Mannix, he's got the bonds. We'll have to take the Bedford Road. Car be through in the last ten minutes? No, not the last half hour. Half hour? That's funny. I wonder if Ben could have been lying. Better get back to his place quick. See you All later, right. fellas. Okay. Never mind the truck tabs. The police will call for it tomorrow. Bain's place is just around the next turn. Why, there's a car leaving his place now. 
Yes, and if I'm not wrong, Bane's driving it. Lennox, do you? Your diary wants to catch him alone to show me up. and see who's come to visit you, Mannix. Now move away from that desk. There might be a gun in it. You'd have been a lot smarter to have split those bonds with me as we agreed, because now I'm going to get them the way it hurts. Wait a minute. You wouldn't use that rod on me just because oh, I... Oh, wouldn't I? Oh, now listen, Vane. I'll give you your cut and we'll beat it out of here together. Oh, no. I'll get all the bonds and I'll leave here alone. If you get what I mean. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Mannix. Get the wall, Bane. Go on, move. Now, Mr. Bain, if you please. In trying to get the bonds, Commissioner, Natasha felt she was only taking what belonged to her. You say the bonds originally belonged to your father? Yes, sir, in Russia. They promised him his freedom if he would endorse them. Instead, they killed him and the family became exiles. Why are you willing to surrender your rights to them now? I find Wing Fu intends using them for refugees in his own country, and I know what it means to be a refugee. Well, if Wing Fu is willing to drop charges, I guess we needn't hold you. They're his bonds. Well, you could have them in Mannix, too, if you'd let Red Barry handle the case. You mean if Barry hadn't interfered with my man, Valentine Bain, we'd have... What is this, Barry? Some kind of joke? No, sir. I recovered the bonds. These are the men that had them. But this is Valentine Bain, my special investigator. Don't argue with him, Commissioner. Tell him to take off these handcuffs. Right, Bain. Take them off. I'm sorry, sir. I can't obey that order. Can't obey? Come on, Mr. Barry. Give me an exclusive story. I'll give you a better story than that. 
Police commissioner engages international crook as special investigator. His name's not Vain. He's Harry Dicer, an American, wanted in every... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, you two. If you don't believe me, you can check his fingerprints. Well, Tom, what do you think of Red as an officer now? Don't rub it in, Scotty. This is my finish in the department. They'll demand my resignation, and they should. But my last official act will be to recommend you for promotion, Red. Thank you, sir. In the meantime, I'd better phone Wing Fu about these. You have them in your office? Yes, you're only to come here and prove ownership. Oh, and uh, you can do me a little favor, if you will. Yeah. Uh, don't prefer charges against the girl. Hold it, all of you! Back up. Give me those keys, Barry. Commissioner, tell him to give me those keys. Don't do it, Red. Get him. Can't take the chance, Commissioner. Here. You asked for... Won't be necessary for you to resign now, sir. How do you figure that? We'll be telling the truth when we say that Bain was shot while a prisoner was trying to make an escape. It won't work, Red. I sure it will, Tom. You can't resign. Well, there wouldn't be anybody left around here for me to fight with that I could lick. Why, you... But it looks like we're finally going to see this dance from beginning to end. Yeah. Commissioner, just phoned, sir. You're to report to headquarters immediately. I... Poor old Scotty. I sure feel sorry for him, don't you, Mrs. Seth? Poor old Scotty. Well, you needn't, because you're coming, too. I'll probably need you. Now, look, Mrs. Seth, hadn't you better go along and get the story for your paper? Certainly not. I think she had, don't you, Scotty? Good idea. <laughs> <laughs>